Hi kangaroo kids. I've been missing you so much and I'm really glad that I have this chance to um, talk to you today. I just got back from a walk around my neighborhood and it was so nice to be outside. Um, I don't know about you, but it's been really hard to stay home and not go to school. So I really like getting outside when I can. And I know in some neighborhoods, people have sidewalks where they can go for a walk or they might play in their yard or they might go to a park. Those are all really safe things to do with your family. Um, and I wanted to show you something. When I got back to my house, I found something and I wanted to show you. Look what I found in my yard. I found a whole bunch of different sticks. These came from trees around my house. They were lying on the ground. This one came from a tree that keeps its leaves all winter long, an evergreen tree. But all the other sticks don't have any leaves. Some of them are long. This one's kind of crooked. Some of them are short. Look at this one. That one's shorter. Some of them are thick. This one's pretty thick. And some of them are really thin. Look at how thin this one is. Some bend. This one's flexible. I can bend it with my hand. See how it bends? And some are hard. They do not bend. Cannot bend this one. It's hard. I also think this one feels smooth to me. But if I rub my fingers along this one, can you see all the bumps on it? It's rough. It's kind of bumpy. You might find some sticks around your house too. You could ask your family to help you find some. Oh, look at this one. Look at how different this is. This looks like a piece of, of wood that's from a different part of the tree. It's not a small branch like this. So, you know what, when I found all these, I was thinking about how you might be able to play with sticks near your house. Here's my idea. I thought that you might find the biggest stick. Here's my biggest stick. Starts all the way down here and goes all the way up to the top. That was the biggest one I found. And look down here, here's the smallest. It's so small compared to the big stick next to it. So you might want to find your smallest stick and your biggest stick. You know what I kept doing? I was so curious about all the sizes of the sticks. Look, I put a small stick next to a taller stick and taller and taller and taller all the way to the tallest stick. I wonder where I should put this one. Do you think it should go near the tall sticks? Or does it fit better here? Or does it look more like it should be the smallest. I don't know. It does look like they go from biggest down to smallest. I think that's it. I think it should be the smallest stick. I wanted to show you how I broke my sticks. I took the pinchy fingers of one hand and held the stick and the pinchy fingers of my other hand and I pinched really hard and pulled until the stick broke. Here, watch again. Just your three pinchy fingers holding tight and your three pinchy fingers holding tight on the other hand. Put them close together. This is kind of like when you're trying to open a package of snacks, you put your fingers close together. Oh, look, it broke. Should we do it again? Pinch, pinch, Snap. Pinch, pinch, snap. Oh, sometimes it's hard. You can make a lot of sticks that are smaller that way. And you might know what you might want to do. You might even want to see what shapes you could make. Do 
Do you know the name of that one? Looks a little bit like a rectangle, I think. Might even make, that one's a little bit like a triangle. A little bit like a circle too. I wonder what you could make. I hope you get to spend some time outside with your families having fun. I miss you. I hope you get to spend some time outside with your families having fun. I miss you. See you soon.